So this is actually something that I saw online a long time ago on YouTube actually. This guy had made these out of aluminum. It didn't have the center pocket in there. They only made like 500 of them and he was trying to solve it. Somebody sent it to him and he was trying to solve it. And I watched the whole thing. It was actually pretty entertaining. Right now there's a lot more of these videos on YouTube with people 3D printing these. So this is actually not my design, but I, I did draw it up, did model it, did 3D print it. And it's an interesting concept because these pins, these are stainless steel, so they're non-magnetic, so you couldn't hold a magnet to it. These pins actually take the uh, centrifugal force to sling them to the outside so they disengage from the lock. These engage as soon as you pick this thing up, supposedly, with the outside. And I actually had a failed print that uh, might show it pretty good here. My SD card failed during this print. But let's see if we put these together here. I don't know if you can see that there. Where that hole, where this hole aligns with the other hole, these pins sling all the way out and they disengage almost like a bolt. See that in there? That pin disengages all the way. That's the extent of that hole in the black piece there. So we put the pins in the outside piece. Into these holes. Then we're able to take this centerpiece with a pocket in it, put it in there, give it a spin. And as soon as you tilt this thing one way, See if we get more than one to lock. I don't know if you can see it in the video here. There's a little rise in it here, right? I think my bed was too cold? I don't know, let me know. Oh, there was it locked. So in order to get whichever pin it was out, you gotta sling it to the outside. Mirror go around. There it goes. And you can see they're all they're all retracted there. Lock it back up again. So unless somebody spins it, they're not gonna be able to get this thing open. You gotta not spinning it like top and bottom, but spinning it on the table, you know. Pretty cool, and being able to 3D print something like this is kind of a dream come true, right? I don't know where you would buy one of these. You can't go to the local store and just find it. I'm sure it's available online somewhere. Maybe somebody is 3D printing them. Maybe somebody is machining them. Pretty cool though. Nice little puzzle.